good morning good afternoon good evening good night from where when you're watching this video this is john from it skills academy with yet another video today i present to you yet another pharmacy management system i'll take you through how i created this simple pharmacy management system using php and mysqli to make it simple i'll break it into several episodes as follows in the first episode, I'll basically be introducing you to the system and also uh, show you uh, the basic uh, dashboard that we'll be using for the system. Uh, in the second episode, you're going to set up uh, the uh, database. Then um, in the uh, third uh, episode, we'll be creating the uh, dashboard now. And in the fourth episode, we'll be adding the patients. Fifth, we'll be adding uh, or managing the patients and other. In the sixth episode, we'll be adding uh, and managing suppliers. And then in the sixth uh, and in the seventh episode, we'll be dealing with drugs, that is entering or adding the drugs into the system and also managing the drugs in terms of editing, in terms of uh, um, deleting the drugs uh we'll also uh, be dealing with the expired drugs in the eighth episode and in the last but not the least episode uh, number nine we'll be dealing with uh, the billing uh, system that is uh, where we'll be managing the transactions and what a few so hope this is interesting and um without so much ado let's just get started Oh, well, this is the last part of episode 3 where we'll be dealing with forms. Remember, forms are uh, the uh, <clears throat> tools that will help us to enter data into the e database or into our system. So, um, before um, starting with uh, the PHP, it's always good that we work on these uh, um, forms and the tables because we'll be using them in almost every step of uh, this specific uh, system. So, uh, to be able to create uh, the form, just like we did with the tables, we're just going to create one form and then we are going to reuse that form in all the pages that will be requiring at the uh, form so um uh, we'll be starting with the add patients then add drugs add suppliers and that that will be it uh so uh when we click on the add patients right now you see it doesn't have anything and that this is what we want to work on right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head on to the visual studio code and i'm going to pick uh, one of uh, the uh, already existing code that we have remember this we are using it in some uh, sort of a template and then uh, we are uh, modifying it to include uh, what we want so i'm going to grab that and uh, I'm going to create now the new uh, page that is um, add uh, patients uh, dot uh, php <clears throat> and so I'm going to have uh, the code pasted there and so now when we go to <coughs> the browser and refresh that <coughs> Then we're going to see something similar to the drugs page, uh, but remember now we need to modify it so that uh, it is consistent with add patients. So let's start modifying it a little bit so we can just uh, uh, search maybe for the drugs because now we want to replace these drugs with and uh, patients. And uh, because I'm a bit lazy, I'm going to grab this and I'll be pasting it in all the instances that we're having the drugs. So, like that. And uh, any other drug that we're having here, I'll remove it like that. And uh, we are done. So, if we now head on to the browser, refresh that then we should have something like that so we just now need to remove the table so that we can replace it with a form so real quick uh, hiding that then going to the table here so if the, here is the table so i need just to remove it just highlight and remove it and uh, this is now where <clears throat> we are going to have the form so i can even have it with um, Arable there, so add uh, patients uh, form. Yeah, so something like that. And so now, 
uh, for us to have the table we're going to uh, style it a, a little bit just to make it look a bit uh, appealing to the eye so um, I'm going to create several divs here that is uh, just uh, going to try and help us to um, style the table so um, I'm creating at least how many divs here at least uh, three and in this last one we are going to have this way we're going to have some sort of uh, uh, a rebo uh, just to um, help the table to be uh, easily <coughs> understood so like here we are going to have uh, patient uh, details for example and uh, we are also going to have an SVG for it so <coughs> I usually like to use the hero icons so I don't to hero icons and here you can search uh, for the icon that you want you can have it in solid outline or mini so i'm going to grab this one because it's one for the users or people and i'm going to have it there just have some housekeeping allowed here so just move that like so and uh, also remove this white space like that so if we check that um we'll see some things starting to take shape although it might not make sense as such but at least you see that's what we got there okay so we'll be styling it a little bit so that yeah, at least it makes sense uh, but for now let's first of all head on to the next thing that we need so just below this i'm going to have yet another uh, <clears throat> part so this is where we are going to to have the, the input uh, fields like that and uh, oh, we missed something here yeah so um, this input fields again uh, let me uh, just lap them within a div this is better for styling and also understanding the structure um <clears throat> sorry we missed something um we, this one should be let me grab it because we might need it at some point uh just copied it and uh, here we should have uh, the and uh, patients form okay so there will be the f uh, the form and so uh, before we even have that div then let's have uh, the form sorry uh, that is form we'll be adding more attributes to it just to try and make it uh, <coughs> um, dynamic because we'll be using it to add uh, details so we'll be, be requiring more attributes but we're going to come back to that when we'll be working with the html so <coughs> So now this is where I'm going to require that input field and I'm going also to have the div back. So this is where we are going to have the inputs. Um, uh, sorry, eh, what's wrong with me today? So input. And uh, <coughs> of course it will be of type of text. And uh, we're also going to have it with uh, uh, a placeholder. So we need at least um, a five of them. So I'm just going to grab these, hold shift alt arrow pointing down once and duplicate that so that we have at least five of them. And um, this one will be for the uh, patient uh, uh, name. And here we are going to have this one having the email and uh, this one will be the date of birth and uh, we are also going to include the phone number plus also the location so location so we'll be styling them <coughs> in, a, in a bit but let's first of all uh, finish with the whole table uh, just below that we also want to have another label just like the one we had uh, here so I'm going to grab uh, that and uh, I'm going to have it below here 
like such so if we may just uh, refresh the page a light now we should now see something like that see the input fields here will be styling them a little bit but at least the form is taking shape <coughs> we just have to add a few um teleweight classes uh, so now that that is there uh, we just need to change this and this one should be other details and there you go and now below that we are going now to have yet another div so this is again another div to hold some other set of input fields so i'm going to have the input allowed there um, this one will be the text and also uh, the place hold uh, will be arrages okay so <clears throat> that will be um one that is going to like fit the whole available space but we're also going to have some two more below it that will be splitted into two let me just show you what i mean by that so below that i'm going to create another div and uh, within this div i'm going to have now the several input fields that i need so like for example i'll create a div and then i'm going to have an input field uh so like that <coughs> and then i'm going to change this i'm going to duplicate this into two so i'm going to grab that and uh, have another one below it and that will be it for that and below that we're going to have a HR This will just be a line that we're just going to have there. Um, last three, we are going to have yet another div here. Okay, so below or inside that div, we are going to have yet another div. Uh, so <coughs> this one will be for the submit uh, button so I uh, can just talk of uh, button and then we'll also be adding some more attributes to it <coughs> just to make it uh, a little bit more um, <coughs> uh, in line with the PHP so that you can be able to submit the data so I'm just going to call it uh, save and in fact uh, let's yeah let's just have it as such uh, or safe or if you just want to decorate it a little maybe um we can have these in a span we have a safe and uh, here we can have maybe an SVG let's see if we have one for um, save mm -hmm. we don't have one for the safe uh, let me just grab this one And 
then uh, we will remove the white space So now the form is taking shape, if we go to the blouse and refresh that, let's see what we have. Yeah, at least we have something of that sort, so we are now, we are now just uh, left to add a few um, <coughs> classes, Tilweed classes, so that we have that styled <coughs> um, in a manner that makes sense so getting back to the visual studio code here we'll start uh, from the very first uh, div so around here So the margin top will be two. Then also the background will give it a white background. Um, and then <coughs> this uh, div will be loaded large, and it will have a shadow of medium. Sorry, this should be shadow. Uh, and also. Uh, this other div here so i'm going i'm going to give it um, flex remember flex will make <coughs> items uh, to be well manageable in terms of uh, positioning them and all that alignment uh, so spacing that will be of uh, x4 so because uh, we when we have it in a flex then it means it is going to be aligned in a row uh, layout uh, so we're just saying that now the spacing between uh, them will be uh, four and now for the svg here again these ones <coughs> uh, we need them to flex so again have them in a row then for the padding top and uh, bottom we'll give it uh, five for the padding uh, left that will be five and then i'm going to talk about an overflow uh, of hidden uh, so from there we are heading on to the h1 so for the h1 we will uh, <coughs> first of all have it with inline and then the text uh, will be 2xl and then for the font we want to be we want it to be semi bold in the reading of none so that's about it with that uh, first label there if we refresh that then we should see something of that nature okay still looks a little bit big i don't know why add to xl let me, let me just call this at uh, lg see how that changes because i think this needs a bit big okay 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 um so let me let me see if you can still have it like that but we have these as four uh, 
and um, refresh that's better but let me, let me just try to increase it a little bit let me make it to three and three will be okay for now so just work with three i'm not even going to shake at it uh shake it so uh let's first of all proceed on and see if everything is going to take shape uh so um we'll skip the form for now uh, so we just head on to this uh, diff that is lapping uh, our first set of input fields and uh, for this one uh, the padding left and right will be five and the padding bottom will be five as well and then uh, we're going to add a, a classes to the input field so um, we'll just add one and then duplicate it to the rest so for the uh, classes the first one will give it is a, a text of black and then we wanted to uh, have it a width of full and uh, for the padding left and right I will give it four padding uh, top and bottom will give it a 2.5 and then for the We are also going to have it with rounded LG and also the BG. Let's give it a slate 100. Let's see how that will look like. Yeah, I think that should be it. Uh, so let's refresh. So there you have it, taking the whole uh, size there. So there is still a little bit more that we need to do to it here. Uh, and in fact, to the whole uh, <coughs> of these. Uh, uh, content that we have in here because we can see all of them are uh, close to the margin there so it looks like uh, we need to fix uh, the margin so just a minute we see uh, what we can uh, how we can fix that Yeah, so <clears throat> let's add a few more divs here uh, that I believe we missed. So let me see if we can manage to fix that. Let me see if we can uh, get this.
Okay, so uh, <clears throat> let me first of all um, have some few divs here. Like so. And uh, I'll give them a few classes. So like flex and uh, this one will be hedge screen. So going to add one more div here. So this one class make it M um, auto. And let's see if now when you have the content here, it is going to work out. Yeah, the code is a bit disorganized here. Okay, looks like it's a bit is it disorganized. Uh, so let's see. that well that did it quite work well so let me uh, try one more trick if I go to the Tillywood documentation here let's see if we can uh, be able to fix that by just fixing the um, Tillywood uh, CDN so just go to the Tillywood CSS documentation. We just try to fix uh, the alignment, uh, <coughs> positioning of everything. So let me just go to the CSS version three, and uh, from here I'll go to the docs for the Tillywood CSS version three because we have version two and three, three being the latest one. Of course, I also believe we have a, a version one. So here I'm going to go to the play CDN. And I'm going to grab this. So I'll have this included in the head here. Because we need to be connected to the internet for that to work. Then refresh. So, um, <clears throat> because I can see this one appears to be 
at the center creating some space here that I don't like uh, so let me see if we can change this from auto we can talk of um, 20 imagine all rounded of 20 fresh that that's better uh, so we can just fix this now um, I just wanted it to be H1 so we can have it back to H1 So that now should have it um, the way I wanted initially. Yeah, looks better. Not much of a difference, but we have it there. So now we need to fix this. So um, <clears throat> back to the Visual, Visual Studio code and here I'm going to grab this class and all the classes there and I'm going to include them or include it here so hold alt after selecting the first one and then still holding the alt you can click all the other inputs and uh, go to paste it there that now should help me to get something like that <coughs> so now we just need to fix the spacing between them look like that didn't work well that is a padding bottom okay so Imagine top of like um, two. Okay, that still didn't fix that. Oh, what could be the issue here? Space. Ok, 
okay so we have the spacing but now the size is it's not full anymore Well, that looks fine. I think the, the margin top I had um, <coughs> included a hyphen which was not necessary. So the spacing now is okay. The, forms, the form looks neat. <coughs> and so now we can go ahead and style the list. So that is uh, we have a set of. Uh, input fields so that should be here so class <coughs> so first of all is to have it in a loop that is a, a flex and uh, the spacing of um, two so the spacing of x2 is the space between the rows Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We missed uh, something that should not be there. Sorry. <coughs> uh, Lather, we should have it here. So this is where we should first of all include that. So this one. Um, first of all, we need to give it a class. The flex. Space X of two. So yeah. and then uh, below that now you also have this one. Let's just move it inwards a little bit like that. So 
just to try and organize it a little bit. So cars and this one. Flex PY of five and PY five. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's move that there. This one again, move it inwards a little. Move it there. Uh, so something like that. This one moves there. This one moves there. This one stays there. moves there this one moves there okay so now with that we can style these ones so this one is p x of five and a p b of five uh, for these uh, yeah input here we're going to give it the following classes just to try and style it uh, so <clears throat> the first thing is the color which should be black uh, the next will be width which should be full and uh, the other one is the spacing right and left uh, so that should be four top and bottom the spacing should be 2.5 <coughs> merging top of two uh, text service yeah and that's it should also be rounded let me also make it um, rounded uh, LG And for the background, I'm going to give it a select 100. So <clears throat> we're done with that. <coughs> so for the next diff, we're just going to make it contact to flex. So that is a flex. And uh, for this one, its contact should do the following. So flex uh, glow. Uh, the width should be a quarter of the available space, and the padding right that should be two. Then uh, the input will take uh, these classes. It's just going to inherit this class. So I just, I just copy that, and I can have it here. Sorry, should be here for the input. Again, this one takes um, the flex uh, glow a width of uh, a quarter and a PL of two. And then we also going to have the classes for the input. And I 
hate to think that you're done with that. Let's let's refresh. And that's what we have. So it's when now we click on this that we can be feeding the data. Yeah, like that. And uh, maybe we can have the placeholders for this. So this one, uh, placeholder is equals to what and the placeholder for this will be condition so condition and uh, we grab that just because we are ready and we're going to have that there and as usual uh, change it to uh, exit to other condition so when we refresh that what do we get Yeah, so that's it. So the last thing that you now need to style is this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, the last thing that you need to style is that over there. So let's see how do we style that. So <clears throat> let's do this. So we head on back to the Visual Studio code, and here um, let's start with the HR here. And uh, this one, uh, we're giving it a, a little, uh, just one class of margin top. And uh, this one now, uh, real quick, we'll talk over class equals to uh, flex, uh, flex low. And uh, uh, this one should be reverse and a padding or rounded of three. So this one means, uh, let me just have it as a, uh, because uh, we only have, uh, we, we only get to have one uh, item here. So let me just have it as flex. Yeah, let's have it as flex. There's no need of the rest of the classes. Uh, so, uh, Frex and uh, what we give it here, uh, Frex uh, initial uh, and then the PL of three. So P usually starts for party and then the other one is usually the position, like the direction rather. So when we say PL, then that is party left. Okay, so where are we now? Lost. I just got lost. Okay, just trying to find my way back, and here we are. So the button. Uh, so first of all, uh, the button should be of the type submit. Uh, I don't. I think this one should be uh, coming in when we'll be doing the HT. I mean the the PHP. Let me just uh, first of all just deal with uh, the styling for now. Yeah, so uh, Frex uh, items um, center uh, PX of 5, PY of uh, 2.5, font uh, medium, uh, tracking of uh, wide. Uh, 
sorry white and then the text color should be uh, white um, capitalize all uppercase whatever capitalize uh, capitalize uh, just to uh, have it in uppercase you can use uppercase or uh, um, capitalize and then we're also going to give it a bg and this one will not just be a bg but it will be a bgent i mean um, <coughs> a gradient uh, so that is uh, from uh, green green is it's 100 to line 400 Louded, what louded? Let's give it a louded medium. Uh, so, rounded, louded, louded, louded. Where are you? Rounded medium. Uh, that's okay. Fresh and see what we got there. <coughs> yeah, that looks a bit okay, but now what's wrong with the rounded? Awesome. something here uh, let me see if we have the face as a flex no uh, reverse fresh that and see what that will give us just have it on uh, the right so it's up to you uh, to decide whether you want to have it on the right or on the left whatever so uh, I think when it's there it looks a bit okay as opposed to when it is here and so I think we are done with the form over there uh, and the rest of the information that is left I think has to do with uh, the PHP so so this is now the form that we are going to use uh, this is a form that we are going to use for the um, rest of the pages whenever we need a form we'll just be modifying this specific form and talking about modifying it then I'm just going to grab it, uh, copy it, and uh, what do I need to do? Uh, <coughs> uh, create another uh, page, other pages, and uh, call it uh, and drugs.php. And here I'm going to have that. So that now, if I go to the browser, and click on and drugs I'm taken to that page and um, yeah I just now need to modify things a little bit uh, here so like um, let me just get rid of this and uh, that so that I can see that and here I need to find and what do I need to find I need to find uh, Patience so that I replace that with uh, drugs and uh, I'll grab that uh, copy it 
so that now I'll be replacing it with uh, with that so there you go so if I refresh that and then <coughs> the page now looks like an old drugs page so we just need to uh, modify this a little bit uh, so that now they look like uh, they are ready to accept drugs okay so So I'll just get rid of C3 and now this one um, have it renamed to instead of patients that should be drug here yeah, instead of email we need type uh, instead of date of birth we need suppliers and for the supplier therefore because we will be selecting then we need to have instead of an input we need to have a select so select and uh, here we're going to have uh, the option option and um, it's like that maybe we can just put a, 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 a dummy supplier name there so like uh, John and uh, just to ensure that uh, it is styled just like the rest of the input fields I'm going to grab that class and have it there so if we refresh then that should be a select field uh, okay yes we have it but now uh, we are having it at the same have it okay so there you have it see you it's up okay so therefore we have it moving at the middle for some reasons Therefore, means that we also need to change the one for the blood patients. Mm, I don't think that looks bad. 
enemy. I don't think that looks bad. Um, Just try and to reduce the space on top because, but because we've given it the, the new of auto, I think it should still be positioned there. Um, and uh, we also need to, I think, um, work on that. Let me see what we can do about. And uh, let me see if we use this to two. Um, okay, that doesn't work well. Um, let me try to have this one at the center. To have it uh, flex, uh, justify <coughs> center items center, and this one let's give it a H3. Let me just give it a few classes like uh, flex. Uh, I mean, not flex. Let me just uh, talk about uh, text uh, uh, 2xn. That's better. So this one can be form. I will also be modifying the other one because yeah, it's something that just came up here. So I think that one can stay like that. So the one is So we will just reuse this now for the suppliers. So go to that uh, pages uh, page. It should be and surprise and uh, have the code there. Uh, go to and suppliers. Okay, 
so we should have it as supplier so just rename refresh that and that should fix it <coughs> yeah so we just now need to modify things a little bit so again now instead of drugs it should be Things so like we need to remove uh, the select and uh, we have uh, two more input fields like so and then remove the rest we don't need uh, the rest of this so we just collapse it oops okay I think that's it uh, for uh, this part if you'll be recalling any other form then we'll just be repeating that same same process to have that specific uh, table so thank you for watching up until this point see you in the next episode that will be episode number four